I'm like, he's got this. He's my man's got it, <laughs> yeah. right? And I was just my man's like, got yeah, it, just good. dropping to the floor. He's down because in Barcelona. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to review the latest podcast episode of That Vegan Couple. This was highly requested by my viewers. Apparently, Natasha is going through some tough times. Let's have a closer look. It's really hard to yeah. maintain your composure. And so I'm, we're, we're leaving the cube, we're walking home, and I'm. you're kind of like just got your arm around me i'm flopped on you as we're walking i probably look drugged or something and and i'm crying. drugged on something hmm, interesting please proceed fine yeah I'm, I'm just saying i'm so tired i'm so yeah. tired it's the, i'm so it, tired what we're trying to convey here is was the cumulative total you know each yeah. one of these actions standing on their own are totally doable multiple of them are totally doable Back to back to back to back to back for uh, over four months, it wears you down. It wears you down. It wears you down. Which led to something that really, really scared me. And Okay, so tired, exhausted, fatigued, but as always, the coping mechanism, the vegan denial hits straight away. It is not my diet. It is this. It is that. It must be our activism. Vegans always blame everything else but their diet. We just saw it with Lewis Hamilton as well. It is the bad, bad people. The world is in such a messy place. It is not his diet. Over and over again, we see vegans getting depressed, but they will blame everything else first. This has never happened mm. before in mm. my life. Mm. And everyone goes through difficult times, right? Every, everyone yeah. has their challenges. So yeah. we've definitely had ups and downs throughout our lives, yeah. sure. Everyone does. Everyone Justifying does. And it. And yet what happened on tour mm. was something that I'd never experienced before. I started having panic attacks. And I'm talking about <laughs> middle of the night, sleeping soundly, deep, heavy sleep, exhausted. <laughs> and all of a sudden, bang, I would wake up. And my heart is racing. My heart is like in my throat. It's pounding. I could feel it. And Yes, that sounds like a thyroid imbalance. I know what I'm talking about because I was there myself. The same happened to family members too. Sweating in your sleep. The heart was pounding. Absolute mineral imbalance. Thyroid hormone imbalance. That comes through malnutrition. And this comes through plant toxins of course you can clearly see that her hormones are disrupted matter of fact both of those guys look at those faces man look at those little scrawny arms both of those guys look super gaunt but they still cannot make the connection i kind of like i couldn't breathe it was just this <gasps> thyroid panic mm. and i had this this dread in my stomach and this wave of anxiety rushed through my body. And but wait a second, when you're eating vegan, shouldn't you just feel joyful, blissful, super healthy? Why do you feel that way? On the other hand, if you're eating the bad, bad meat, you are absorbing the bad karma, the anxiety, all of that stress of the animal. You're consuming death, right? Why do you as a vegan feel that way? Hmm. And it was... All of this was experienced in like a flash. And because I'd gone from a deep sleep to mm -hmm. like bang, all of this um, running uh. through my body immediately, it was such a shock. And, and, and just this feeling Oopsie. of I can't catch my breath and my heart's pumping and it's like it's yes. in my throat. And I just thought, what the hell is going on? And then I get like Veganism is going really on. Really hot and yet shivers at the same time. Like I'd be sweaty. Exactly. As I said, sweaty nights. That comes through the malnutrition, the hormone imbalance, and on top of that, through excess carbohydrates. Especially if your metabolism isn't really carbohydrate adapted. There are some people that thrive on carbs, some people thrive on fats. With many of my clients, I encountered that carbs before going to bed is an absolute no go. They will wake up, they will sweat, they will have to run to the toilet. The same happens to Natasha. I was having a panic attack. Mm. Stress induced yes. panic attack. It really attack. was. And it Stress wasn't just induced. one. It happened several times Veganism on different induced. occasions in the middle of the tour. Mm. And um, oh my God, it was just this moment of we really need to reassess how we're going about this. I, I... Yes, you should reassess your diet. I can't live like this. This is ridiculous. We're giving exactly. everything, but we're giving more than we've got. Mm. 
and we're not in alignment we're not living and working in alignment with with what with anything with what? Our physiology yeah all right great luca you got it subconsciously you're not working with your physiology Correct, because your physiology is not that of a plant eater. You're sacrificing yourself for an arbitrary goal. Animals are not ours to eat, wear or use. Vegan. Bullshit. Your physiology requires meat. This is why you are stressed out. If you look into the animal kingdom, you will see that if you remove the food source of a carnivore, that animal will lose all compassion. Just last week, I saw a video of street dogs in China trying to eat a man on the street because they were so hungry. That happens to the cutest carnivores. Dogs are our pets. Under normal circumstances, aka they are well fed, they won't do anything. But once the hunger kicks in, the empathy is gone. And then you see situations like this. Those guys are starving for meat. It scared me. Mm. And I'm thinking, how are mm. we supposed to keep giving and being these amazing role models and... <laughs> you really think of yourself as amazing role models? Dude, look at yourself. You're completely starved out of your mind. You have panic attacks because of your malnutrition. Your man here chose a vasectomy. He sterilized himself. How are you role models? For what? If you are role models and everybody would emulate what you are doing, everybody would be infertile. How is that a role model? You would cause the extinction of the human race. The best we can for the animals and the movement and our followers yeah, and everything. For the animals. I'm waking That's up in all. the middle of the night and I can't <laughs> breathe and my heart is pumping out of my chest. Mm. How are we going to do this? Fantastic role models. How are you going to do this? Absolute perfect human health through veganism. Thank you very much. Yeah, and I felt so bad for you having those patterns. <laughs> what was really um, different for us was that we witnessed each other being uh, roughly handled, if you like, for the very first time in these situations. Yeah, you in Amsterdam, I remember... The manager of the restaurant, mm -hmm. he because because you were filming and live streaming, yeah. mm -hmm. you would have appeared to have been look at those psychopaths. Like of the, mm. of I was the an easy target of the demonstration, and you know, was he was easy very target. overbearing with you, and you know would push you roughly physically. Mm -hmm. They're mentally very, ill, you know, to see a woman being pushed. Uh, by a man and as, there was not only the gender difference where you know men are typically stronger, but, you know he was significantly taller and more he heavy was a big set guy. and he was a big guy I'm a little know. lady yeah that, 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 <laughs> oh poor little lady this has nothing to do with gender you are getting into his face with your little phone filming him what do you try to achieve anyways this is always so mind-boggling to me do you really think by going into a mcdonald's somewhere in a foreign country you will change eating habits. You are a terrorist. You are disturbing peace. Nothing that you do has any value. Not for humanity, of course, and neither for the animals. Do you really believe by behaving in such a manner, anybody will give up meat? Ridiculous. We're cutting to the chase there. <laughs> True. So to wow. see him you know, push you like that and knowing that... I would push her. If you would come so close with your phone, touching my nose, basically, of course I would push you. The essence of what do you expect? nonviolent direct action is to not react. And that is how you uh, help win the hearts and empathy of the undecided majority who are, who are watching the demonstration. Yeah, you're totally mentally ill. Do you really believe that anybody that saw this will go vegan? How deluded are you? It was really, really challenging for me as your partner not to you know, follow instinct, which is to intervene uh, Why didn't you? You know, on your behalf. Yeah, to, try and, and protect try me. Try to protect you. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. And when the Berlin... Trying to protect you type thing. Luca, the alpha male with his huge guns trying to protect Natasha, but in the end decided not to. What is this story about? This is something from a parallel universe. First and foremost, of course, it's Natasha's fault. You should never come so close to anybody filming them like this. Of course, you are invading their personal space. That man did what he had to do. However, if it comes to the point that this guy starts pushing my wife, my girlfriend, my partner, of course, I will intervene. Luca is the epitome of the soy boy, the absolutely cucked little male sitting there with his scrawny little arms and a megaphone. Oh, compassion for the animals. 
but not defending your own wife. Pathetic, disgusting. Disruption happened, and that yeah. was the first time I'd seen you on the ground being dragged, and then <laughs> when you were grabbed by the neck, and they were like really forcefully trying to hold your head, oh, yeah. and you kept <laughs> chanting. I'm like. I love you so much. <laughs> but at the wow. same time, I was so scared in that moment. <laughs> oh, man. Complete mental illness. This is what we see here. The guy's being grabbed by the neck. On that note, this is a really, really bad way to escort anybody that knows a little bit of self-defense. However, it was enough for Luca, of course, here. No resistance there, but Luca decided to chant and be dragged on the floor. Fantastic defense. Great job, soy boys. Because <laughs> it was just the first time uh, of seeing that and it felt so helpless. And Oh my God. Because it was the first time, it was like everything <laughs> that I knew about everything that you just oh, said, describing the point of disruption, went out the window and my instinct yeah. kicked in. Mm. And I'm just like, Han, are you okay? Are you okay? And your face was a bit pale and a bit <laughs> like shocked, guy. but I knew you had it, but it was still, <laughs> yeah. ah, like I've never it's seen like that. It's a natural reaction. Yeah, but then But after, holding on to his phone. Yeah, you're in so much pain if you can still hold on to your phone. <laughs> that happened. We were, or more so me, I was more um, prepared yeah. mentally and yeah. emotionally. So when oh. it happened again. I'm like, he's got this. He's, my man's got it, <laughs> yeah. right? And I was just my like, got yeah, it, just good. dropping to the floor. Down, because in Barcelona, <laughs> uh, the disruption in the market. Oh my even God, more that's heated. amazing. I mean, one of the guys came with a knife. Yeah, of course, because there was like a, I guess there was a, there were butchers, weren't they, yeah, in the market selling the flesh of murdered animals, and so there <laughs> the were knives around. Uh -huh. And one of them came out with a knife, yeah, and was Good only on stopped by his co-workers, yeah. and <laughs> only because we didn't react by and large. You know? Yeah, rightfully so. The poor dude probably thought, if you want to take away my meat, I'm gonna eat you. We remained non-violent. Yeah. Uh, and didn't react and so I think his co-workers were like no 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 they're clearly not being violent so there's mm, no this need is gonna for get a really knife here so no 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 they realized those guys clearly can't defend themselves so therefore we're not gonna butcher them oh please you know yeah. but if but you, you did go this. to the ground <laughs> Just and then you were hit in the back of the head <laughs> like a good slap take down and then after he slapped slap. you he put like a fist like he was ready to oh. go yeah. so if, for <laughs> look example, at Luca have reacted, that oh. would have really ignited that would have been the situation a and it would have you know so yeah. that's hence uh, the importance of non-reaction exactly so we've got quite good at uh, <laughs> dropping dead body uh, just 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 feeling very comfortable with seeing each other in physically uncomfortable feeling comfortable at dropping to the floor feeling comfortable by getting abused by a bunch of people and not stepping in for your own partner this is what you're getting comfortable with so let me summarize you cause havoc you terrorize regular people that just want to get a meal in and then when people front up to you you drop to the floor and start whining that's what you do. Great activism. Potentially violent situations. Yeah. And it's amazing to Isn't think it? like, I'm so okay with you being dragged on the ground. What I was thinking was, oh no, his t-shirt's going to rip. <laughs> <laughs> I like that t-shirt. We need to get you a disruption t-shirt. You know? yeah. <laughs> all right great what did i just watch people that are totally all right with their partner getting abused by others basically putting themselves into a position where they get abused that just shows you the mental illness again those people are obsessed with violence they bring themselves into violent situations either they go to slaughterhouses and watch animals being slaughtered and they fantasize about the blood but of course they don't want to eat it or they bring themselves into public places where they will get assaulted because they invade the space of others so no matter what they're doing they put themselves into suffering even if you look at their diet their diet causes panic attacks the diet causes absolute deterioration. This is why they feel that way. Cold sweats, hormone disruption. This is what they do to themselves. In many ways, you can see that the vegans are obsessed with suffering. They take one aspect of this life and they magnify that emotion. Their whole life is self-induced suffering. From what I heard, Natasha is actually Macedonian, just like myself. And Luca, if I'm not mistaken, is from Italian descent. Both of them live in Australia. As Luca said in the beginning, you cannot trick your physique physiology your physiology will determine your diet you're much better off eating the way your ancestors ate and that depends of course from which area of the planet you came 
from. So if you look at the equator, you will see that those people eat more vegetables. They can get away with it. In the Asian countries, there is more abundance of fruit. However, your natural diet is meat. Both of you guys, meat, eggs and fish. If you want to restore your mental health, there's only one way for you. As I said, every vegan goes through those steps of denial. In the beginning, you will say, yes, it is probably because we've been dragged over the floor. It is probably because of those violent, violent people. The reality of things is, it is your diet. And as long as you do not change that, you will suffer. All right, guys, and this is it for today. Just a quick review of this podcast. Not surprising at all. This is what we see all over the place with the vegans. Natasha entered end stage veganism, and this is how she will feel now. She will have to give up the diet. If she does not, she will continue with her suffering and her deterioration. Nothing more and nothing less. All right, but this is it, guys. If you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. We have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic, no matter if it is health, lifestyle or nutrition related. On top of that, by joining, you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide. It is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition, but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals, no matter if you're keto, primal, paleo or even raw. Thank you very much for your support, guys. And as always, much love and peace.